Hey, hi, hello, my name is Shandian. I'm an independent Sensi consultant, and let's talk fall, or talk fall and winter. So in my hand, piece of paper, but it has all the scents coming for fall and winter, and I'm so excited. I love the spring and summer catalog. I even brought it with me because I'm gonna discuss what is going over from them. But oh my gosh. I'm so excited. <laughs> like, no joke. I was very giddy all weekend when I was doing all my training. So, also I do apologize if I'm really quiet. I don't have my headset in and it's charging right now. Also, background change is nice and sunny and I just kind of want to enjoy the day. So, with that being said, let's dive in. So I already talked in my last video about all the new releases. They're coming as bars, sprays, and circles, and the scents are Cranberry and Cardamom, Dashing, Fall Feeling, Frosty Cedar, Frosty Air, Golden Garland, Make Me Snickerdoodle, Midnight Mahogany, Palo Santo and Cinnamon, and Red Currant Wreath. So excited. I'm not even kidding. I'm super excited. So the one thing I did not do, and I'm kind of kicking myself, is I have the fall catalog from when I joined last October, and I was going to bring it with me and kind of go through like what stayed and what left, but I'm a silly pooper. So I'm just going to name them, and if I feel really super spicy, I'll put a picture up of what they are. Or descriptions. I might just do descriptions. Who knows? So I am also going to make a note that it is August 1st when I'm filming this. All the spring summer stuff. So almost all of the goodies in here. They're 10% off till the end of August. Minus a couple of things. I believe the licensed products are not. I will confirm somewhere here. Me. And um, I know that there's a couple of other things. Once again, I will confirm right there. I also brought my testers of the stuff that I currently have from here. And then some of the stuff that is new to the Fallen catalog that are returning from previous ones. And a couple of them, I so excited. There's actually like two that I made guesses on. And I'm so excited I was right. So with that being said, let's dive in. So we're going to start with bakery. So we have apple cherry strudel returning, baked apple pie, blueberry cheesecake. New one coming is candy cane buttercream. I think this was the holiday bundle from last year. Um... It was either the holiday collection from last year or the year before, and everyone raved about it, and it's in the catalog, and I'm so excited, because I went to order it for myself, and they sold out. So I, I kind of low-key cried. But anyways, I have Cran Apple Crumble, which was a new release from last year. Everyone loved it. I don't blame them. It's super yummy. I'm on a bakery kick right now after they did a huge cut from the fall catalog last year. I've been super sad about some of them, so I've been kind of warming them up because I'm a little sad. Like graham, cram or graham cracker crumble was from, from last year that got kicked and a lot of people are very crushed about it and I'm kind of low-key kicking myself for not clubbing it and getting a couple of bars because that was one of the ones that was like, yeah, it's all right. And now I'm like, it's kind of yummy and it's a good mixer. So I need to get back on track. So Cran Apple Crumbles returning, but it's also in pods now, which is super exciting. Gimme Candy was, was that from last year? Mm, I'm trying to, no, that's or new to this catalog returning from past. That was a scent of the month for September, I believe, last year. And it's super good. Coming in the Harvest Collection. Um, 
One ret or coming over from spring summer is lemon drizzle cake, and yeah, I'm kind of okay with that. Uh, make me snickerdoodle, one of the new ones. Mocha doodle. I'm kind of happy about. I know some people are like, yeah, this one I'm kind of happy about because we don't have a lot of coffee scents, so I I need a good coffee scent once in a while in the fall because your girl's got to have coffee. We have pumpkin roll returning, salted caramel toffee, my favorite bakery one. Um, scary good is returning, and vanilla bean buttercream. So good is a good mixer. I'm so happy this one stayed. I'm really sad that cinnamon buttercream got kicked. It's such a good scent. And I will plop here the ones that got kicked from the fall one because I did forget the catalog and I was going to grab it. So moving on, we have spice. We have apple cinnamon sticks returning, but coming in a scent pack. Autumn hurt, autumn sunset, blackberry spice, which was introduced last year and is such a good scent. I kicked myself for not grabbing a bar because it is super yummy, super nice and good for the fall in the nice cooler days. Oh, the wind picked up. And we have Christmas Cottage. There's a holiday bundle. Is it a holiday or no, it's the Senspirations involving Christmas Cottage. So he didn't hear it from me. Yes, he did. <laughs> um, Cider Mill. I was that one returning or new? New. Tell me. Uh, Cinnamon Bear, which is probably one of my favorite transition from summer to fall scents. It smells like cinnamon hearts, like the little red cinnamon heart candy. Or fireball if you're really the drinky person, because it smells very similar. This one kind of shocks me that cinnamon vanilla is in the catalog, because it was always the spring and summer one. So it is coming over from spring and summer into the fall winter. So I'm, I'm happy about that, because it's kind of, in a sense, replacing cinnamon buttercream just without the marzipan. I'm pretty sure I pronounced that wrong. Uh, Cloven cinnamon is returning. Farm stand pumpkin. First day of fall is returning, but coming in a scent pack now. Ring I don't knock my notes out. Maple apple bourbon. I would have been soul crushed if it left. Oh, I just didn't do that. The wind's picking up. Yeah, fall for maple apple bourbon. I would have been soul crushed if it left because that is my go-to fall scent for like the early fall days. This is so yummy. Along with pumpkin cinnamon swirl, I would have bought plane tickets, marched to Sensi head office, and cry right in front of him, right in front of Dan, probably. Just be like, why did you remove my favorite? But it's coming in pods now, so I'm very excited about it. With the new products coming, I might have to get the pods for fall just for the new product, which will be a different video for a different day on what's coming. I'm going to wait for the physical catalog to do that. Going back, focusing. Red Current Wreath is a brand new one in the catalog, and this was one I was like, I'm kind of excited for. I'm really hoping it's as yummy as it sounds. And Welcome Home is pretty much a staple. It's always year round. So I'm pretty excited to see it return. And now we're going to go on with fruity. So autumn road trip is returning. It's coming in two new products, our fragrance flower and scent pack. Plus the harvest collection may have some nice products involving the scent. You can't see me. <laughs> um, Black currant and plum is another one that I was sad that I didn't buy a bar before the transition to spring and summer. I'm so happy it's back. Even though I'm pretty sure I said that it might get kicked and then I re-smelt them again, just going through this all. And I'm so happy it's back. Along with another one, which is gonna shock you. So black raspberry vanilla is a year round one that just always stays. Caramel apple craze, my children would have ranted and caused a riot if it didn't return it is returning <laughs> uh cranberry and cardamom is brand new and in the fruit fall feeling is in the fruit category and this one kind of shocked me 
frosted cedars in the food category. I know I said description. I should have brought my notes because I sat there going, it's going in the woods category. I'm pretty sure, or even the fresh. So that, that it's in the fruity is kind of odd to me. So with that being said, Johnny Appleseed is returning. Perfect Day is returning. And I'm actually happy about it. And I will explain why. So back when I started as a consultant, I got all the scents and stuff. I think that was one that I was okay with. And I was like, it's not my thing. And then when I was doing all the research, preparing for this and, you know, making my guesses and stuff, and I said it might get kicked, I went back and sniffed all my testers because someone, I wouldn't say leaked the catalog, but shared the catalog with fellow consultants, kind of like this list. And at the time, I was really worried that perfect day, after I smelt it again, and I was like, this is really nice. So this is going to be one that when you mature it, it gets better with age. So I might buy some and let them sit and then warm them because it is a really nice cidery smell. So I'm happy it's returned. And another product that's returning and growing is Scarlet Sunflower. That's going to be in our cleaning products. I will you know, buy some of the new products and test them out. Not all of them. I'm still trying to get into the body stuff, but I might. I might. But Scarlet Sunflower is a good transition, like perfect for the cooler July transition to August into September sort of thing. Is a perfect like summer to fall scent, in my opinion. Because it has that nice floral, but also the warmth and fruity scents of fall that I think of. And this scent, this scent caused so much excitement in the consultant community and I smelt it and I understand why. Snowberry is returning is a good one. And I wish I had the net or the notes. I, I know I put them there, but it's a good scent. It's a really good scent. And mine, I had to find the tester. Yeah, I got a bunch from my friend who used to be a consultant. It's a really good scent. And it's like, I don't know how old these testers are. They're still good. I'm pretty sure the new bars might smell a little different compared to the older ones. But I can sense myself getting one from the fall to winter transition, like seasonal transition. That one would be good for both. So I pop that back. I don't know why I have my little basket. Oh, I'm going to get back into this. That was snowberry. And winterberry apple tea seems to be a staple for the fall winter catalog. I love that one. Now we're going to get on a fresh. And once again, there's one that kind of shocks me, but we'll get into it. So Ella Water and Cucumber, Amazon Rain, By the Sea, Clean Breeze, Clothesline, Fluffy Fleece, I believe, and Just Breathe, Newborn Nursery, and White Amber and Silk are all returning from the spring summer. We have Arctic Kiss returning, which I'm not sure if I should leak this because I don't know if it's European or us two, but Arctic Kiss is going to have some exciting new products coming, hopefully. Um... Cozy Cardigan is returning, which I know myself and a couple of my customers will be super excited to hear. Eucalyptus Reef is returning. Uh, French Lavender is, I'm not sure if it was in the spring summer. Is it? I'm just confirming these thoughts. I, I had to confirm. Um, French, fin or French Lavender, sorry, is new to the fall winter catalog. It was from the Epcot. Um, series that was in spring summer. It's whipped lavender or vanilla lavender that is leaving but yeah I'm gonna guess that whipped vanilla lavender is going to be the spring summer lavender and French vanilla is going to be the fall winter lavender. So with that being said frosted vanilla is returning 
from the new releases last year but it's being introduced as pods which i'm kind of intrigued about because that one if i remember i have them here i'm gonna get back on topic frosted vanilla i'm pretty sure is a really light mint it was kind of like vanilla mint but just softer which I kind of like frosted vanilla a little bit more than vanilla mint. Vanilla mint was one of those scents that gave me a mild migraine. That was when I was a customer too. Okay, let's focus. Frosty Air is new, and I'm pretty excited about this one. I'm also nervous. I do like mint, but I find it overpowering sometimes. It depends. I do like some of these, but... Like Perfect Peppermint is one that I will do when it's cold flu season because it just clears you up. Same with Just Breathe. But let's go to the one that confused me. Golden Garland. I'm pretty sure I said this would be woods or fruit and it is in the fresh category, which kind of throws me off a little. I don't know. Oh, another one that's returning is Jammy Time. I have to try this one for the fall because I... I've slowly grown into um, laundry scents. I had a customer of mine who was family and her favorite was clothesline and she suddenly passed and ever since her passing I've been using a lot of laundry scents just as like a little reminder of her so very personal I feel but uh yeah <laughs> so jammy time I'm hoping the try bar because I'm happy it's transitioning over. It's in body products too, if I remember correctly. So that might be one that my kids will probably like as well. And Just Breathe, I said, is returning. Newborn Nursery is returning. Uh, per or perfect Peppermint. I don't know why I keep calling it perfect. Probably because perfect. Perfect Peppermint is returning. I like mixing this one, which kind of goes back to bakery that hug and mug is not returning and I'm low-key crying but that was a good mixer to make like the hot chocolate or the mint hot chocolate which is my favorite winter drink so I'm really sad that hug and mug is gone but perfect peppermint is staying I might have to try and mix it with future um bakery scents I might try mocha doodle and just see how it goes which reminds me I should try that that actually sounds really good. Going back, let's focus me. Polar Bear Hug is returning, and I'm happy about that. That was a good one. I know it used to be called Eskimo Kiss, so I'm happy it's returning. Silver Bells is returning. It is coming in a pod, which, once again, I'm pretty sure that one's a minty one. And I actually have that one. Silver Bells. Quite y'all. Yeah, that one's like a mint, really light mint, and I'm kind of excited to see how that one goes, like how it is as a pod. I'm pretty sure I've just convinced myself very subtly to buy pods. I have a Scentsy Go now, so I probably will. White Amber and Silk is returning, and that one is very like a laundry scent. This one I lost my tester on. <laughs> My kids got a hold of it. I'm going to make that note. And I haven't found it, so when I get my tester kit here soon, I'll have it again. I might order an extra for myself because that one always runs away. Um, so. And once again, I have been putting the list of ones that got discontinued from the fall winter catalog. My mom brain, just saying. Okay, this category is slowly growing on me the woods category i was not a woodsy masculine sort of girl i'm still not a masculine scented girl but i do love my wood scents and once again shockers on here so around the campfire return cashmere and corduroy which is a huge staple in quite a few homes that i know of i'm pretty sure some people would have rioted if it left but that one's returning cedar cider is returning Cinnamon pine cones. I called this one. This one was so popular in the December month last year, scented month. 
I had a couple of customers who liked it. I liked it. It reminded me of those cinnamon brooms. Such a good scent. I'm so happy it's in the catalog. Super happy. And it's also in pods, so yay. <laughs> uh, dashing. I said this one was going to be in the fresh category. And I'm surprised it's in the woods, so. They really threw us for loops on this one with the names and all that. So I am excited about that still, but the name throws me off. I think fresh. Falling Apples has returned from last year because that was a new release last year. I was kind of shocked, but also kind of happy because I, I need to just have commitment with some of these scents and not say, I love them, I like them and then just not get them. So, Huckleberry Hideaway is returned, and I'm pretty sure I need to try this in a warmer because Huckleberry is a good scent. And we, we used to have a few and they just disappear. So I'm happy we have a Huckleberry to stay. Uh, Midnight Mahogany. That one I know I said by name alone, I would not like. This is the scent that I have slowly kind of fallen in love with through the description because I love plum. That was one scent that I kind of forgot that I love and I do love. So I'm excited to try that one. I'm really hoping that it's as good as it sounds because it might be my new favorite. Mystery Man has returned. Palo Santo and cinnamon is in the woods category. I thought it was going to be spice, but Palo Santo, I just learned, is a treat, not spice. <laughs> So, kind of silly doodle. Very Snowy Spruce has returned. Weather Leather has returned, but comes in a travel twist now. So all those leather lovers, you're welcome. And last one in woods is White Amber Antique. This is coming in laundry products. And a part of me really wants to try it just because it intrigues me to have a woodsy scent as laundry. And don't come at me because I said Coastal Sunset I would love as a laundry. Now they've discontinued as clean and I cried. I'm clubbing it though. Don't worry, I'm clubbing it. And all the scents that are not returning, like Coastal Sunset is in my club. I club that as fast as I can. Okay, let's do citrus. Now citrus and florals are usually big in the spring, summer, and then come fall, winter, they're like shrunk in half. I'm I'm not gonna lie when I say I'm absolutely shocked with citrus that we do have more citrus this year. So Blue Grotto, Coconut Lemongrass are always the ones that come and go, but we added Sunkissed Citrus and Squeeze the Day into the fall winter catalog. So I'm not upset about that because those are cleaning products too. So I'm happy that those are returning. And Sips of Cider is one that always comes in the fall and is returned. So kind of happy about that. And it's like a huge list of the citrus ones that from spring, summer, but I'm just going to do the fall, winter. I don't even think there is any. Most of them are returned. Same with floral. I don't need to do a list because there's always two in the fall, winter. Those two are back and that's Luna and Velvet Moon. Velvet Moon is going to have new products for the harvest collection i believe so exciting oh it's also in pods now too okay now this one this one kind of shocks me we're going to talk about the disney products so we always have our mickey mouse and friends we always have the mickey scent which is called oh boy the mini scent which is totally Minnie mouse the princess collection stayed and the one that kind of shocks me was the Winnie the Pooh, because from what I've seen, they got rid of quite a bit of it over the years. And it's still in the catalog, so little shock. I'm also shocked that Ariel has continued over from spring and summer. And the one scent that I was like, please, please stay. Harry Potter collection is staying. Thank goodness, because the Wizarding World would be a really good fall scent. So I hope it just... It stays for a while, so that makes me happy. And now on to the dreaded list of discontinued items. So basically, 
all the scents from, you know, all the spring summer, minus the excluded few. So like Aloha Citrus and Blue Gave and Melon, Bonfire Beach, all the spring summer scents are basically leaving end of August. Um, some of the discontinued products that are here is Coconut Daiquiri, the body line, Coastal Sunset, Urban <laughs> Clean, I have to be a little geeky, uh, Buddy Clips, we have Prickly the Cactus, Clean the Pineapple, and Vega the Unicorn, those are leaving, which is going to make me a little sad because I have a hunch on a couple of things. Um, we also have Valley, the Black Nose Sheep, the um, Valanus. I know I butchered that, but the Black Nose Sheep is leaving as a buddy come end of August. And we have some warmers. I'm not going to go all the names. Ooh, hopefully you can see them. Those are all leaving come the end of August. I was going to do a whole thing about you know, all the testers. I also go for the emoji. I'm still questioning so much why they put that as laundry, but I'm also intrigued. This is white ever antique, if I didn't already say that. I'm really intrigued. So, um, with that being said, I just, I guess I did as quick as I could on a summary of what is coming fall, winter, I know when I have the physical catalog, I'll actually go into some of the new warmers and the oils and stuff, but it's really hard to do without a catalog. With that being said, I guess I will see you in the next video. Bye!